Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And today I've got a package opening. This is the uh, uh, torque wrench mounting kit. This one's branded by Vortex Optics, makes scopes. Um, and this is the 10 to 50 inch pound tool. And what it is is essentially a screwdriver or a bit driver that has a uh, torque mechanism, adjustable torquing um, on the uh, shaft of it. So I'm gonna open this up for the first time and take a look. You can follow along. Um, it comes, because it's called a kit, it comes with uh, a few other accessories, including five hex bits. No, note that it's got that 964, which is the one I ordered from Snap-on for you know working on these things. Um, 3 16 two millimeter, two and a half millimeter, and three millimeter, three Torx bits of 10, 15, and 25. Uh, screwdriver bit 10 millimeter wide, half inch socket, and a quarter inch socket adapter. Um, this is what I've used in the past, uh, something along this line which allows me to set uh, a, um, a torque value um, for a socket wrench, but it's this thing goes down to about 40 and uh, the recommended torque values here are 10, or excuse me, are 20 to 25 inch pounds. Um, that wheel that I showed in my Vamplier locking plier video, um, where I replaced or, or showed you how I could remove a stripped out torque screw in a um, brake rotor, uh, I need to torque that. It says between 18 and 35. So these don't cut it anymore. Um, and I've been using a. Uh, um, another smaller one in the same kind of form factor here. I need something specific, that's why I got it. Today I will be opening it with, nope, not a Benchmade, but an old vintage bottle opener pocket knife. I have lots of different kinds of knives. Um, stainless Steel Japan. I don't know who made this. I thought originally it might have been Imperial, but um, Imperial always put their name on things. It has the kind of the brass liners gives you some idea of the age the inlay sort of a flag reminds me kind of a texas theme here um, but anyway I, I sharpened it up pretty dang sharp for an old knife uh, let's see what happens here now this comes in a kind of a big plastic screw um, cylinder. I've used things like this with telescope eyepieces, um, smaller ones of course, um, and they work quite well. And then a few, let's see, I think I had one with a cleaning rod, carbon fiber cleaning rod. Um, so it's got uh, some management of the, uh, the top of it there. I'll probably be using this again, so I'll take care of it. And then once I open this up, I slide out the pieces. What do I have here? Um, Okay, it's got management at the bottom to protect it. A little buffer there. Kevin, thank you, Kevin. I guess he was the guy who checked this thing out. Now, this is something I don't know. I believe all of the ones like this are certified, which means they come with a certificate of calibration. Inch pounds, 2020, so October 13th of last year. Uh, Kevin signed off on it. Thank you, I guess. Um, instructions. Shows you how to operate the thing, insert the bit, unlock it, adjust it, align the scale, and lock it back. Uh, watch for flying particles. Don't drive while you're using it, I guess. Um, and here are the pieces. Let's get those out and look at them. Okay half inch socket, quarter inch drive. Here's their bit drive, or their quarter inch. Um, I guess that's to run the socket. Just looking at the names, great big, huge. I guess that's the 10 millimeter flat. Um, T15, let me grab the one I think I need. Um, 964th right there. So I'll go ahead and set that out. Now what I'm looking at here, uh, kind of a rubberized handle, looks like I could stick a, uh, a, um, a driver in here, maybe for a little bit more control, or maybe, I guess up around 50 inch pounds, I might need a little bit of help depending on the angle. So I could stick a, uh, maybe a socket, let me grab one. 
Let's see how this fits in there. Yeah, it's in there, not super tight. I probably want an extension. Um, but anyway, it looks like it's got the standard kind of ball detent to hold the bit in. This is my 964s. Popped in, good. So, unlock it. And then I can rotate this. So, it seems that, um, so it operates similar to that as a screw mechanism. So if I took it up here to, um, looks like I'll do 20, I'm doing this right, I'm th thinking it should be about half. Is that half? Guess that's about 25 right there. Um, looks like that's it, it pops this back. So then I would insert it in. Um, this one's probably been Loctited, so I'm hitting the uh, Torx, or the, uh, the release of it. So I need to pop that free in order to torque it correctly. Let me use my old torque wrench here. See how easy this bit comes out. Not bad. I don't know if I want to drop it in there. Let's see. So I'm going to line that up. Okay. So I've loosened it, and then I would... You know what? I'm going to get my cool snap-on, because that is why I bought it. My slippery tray here. There it is, my snap-on version of the 964 for this very type of scope mount. So, you can see I can easily turn it, and then I'll... Whoop, that just kind of gives up, clicks out. That's not bad. So, I probably need to go through and retorque all of these uh, in order. I can do that on my time, but... Nice. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, this thing was about 90 bucks on Amazon, which I thought was a lot, but the off-brands, or the brands I'd never heard of, were the same. And I'm hoping, um, because this is Vortex, I've used the Vortex Unconditional VIP Warranty, and I, I, it's a good one. I, I do like it. Um, I haven't had any real trouble with it except once I sent back a pair of binoculars and they didn't really fix them. When I called them again, they sent me a brand new pair of binoculars, so good enough. Um, I, I've done it with both binoculars and scopes. I haven't done it with any tools yet. Um, but there it is. This is the uh, Vortex uh, Torque Wrench Mounting Kit, and there was a number on it somewhere I saw. I don't know if that'll help anybody. Uh, I don't know if that's a printing number, but anyway, you'll figure it out. Maybe it was on the plastic I tossed. Anyway, it's a good one. I like it so far in the, the five minutes I've used it. And with that, dock out.